Hey you guys, this is Everything Tech. And for all you guys who love astronomy, I have some good news. And whether this will impact your real life, I don't know, I guess not. But it's nice to mention that our galaxy is no longer the sibling of the well-known Andromeda Galaxy. Yes, indeed. For many years we thought that the Andromeda Galaxy was our bigger counterpart. That the Andromeda Galaxy was our big brother. It was twice the size, it was twice as heavy and it would eat us alive in 4 to 5 billion years. But to new research it has been determined now that it's actually the other way around. Yes, my dear friends, the Milky Way is now the monster. So how 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 is this I'm telling you this on the fly, but you know how how is this came to be? Well, some nicely, you know, nice scientists have used the uh, ASAS uh, Gaia uh, spacecraft and also the Hubble Space Telescope to measure the orbital speed of global clusters around the galactic halo in our Milky Way. Now, how does this work? Uh, basically, the the, ma the more massive a galaxy is, the more faster a global cluster has to move, right? It works the same way in our solar system, like the planet Mercury moves much faster than you know, dwarf planet Pluto. So they have analyzed these global clusters and what did they found out? They found out that by calculating the movement of these clusters that our Milky Way has now a mass of 1.5 times 10 to the power of 12 solar mass. Uh, that's a lot. So I repeat again, 1.5 times 10 to the power of 12 solar mass. Now one year earlier they did the same thing with Andromeda. And Andromeda, you can look this up online, and Andromeda was estimated with the same technique at only 800 billion solar masses. Or to put it in perspective, 0 0.8 times 10 to the power of 12 solar masses. And now the funny fact is, is also that the measurements they made for the Milky Way galaxy only are done within a radius of 129,000 light years of the center of the galaxy. Ha 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 ha! That's very interesting because 129,000 light years from the center of the galaxy. Okay, so that means that we still miss a portion of mass because it has also been determined that our Milky Way galaxy is also a lot bigger. This study has been done a couple of years ago uh, called the Corrugated Galaxy in which they have determined that our galaxy has more like a rippled spiral arm than a nice flat spiral arm. In essence, the Milky Way galaxy is now believed to be between 150,000 and 200,000 light years in diameter. But these calculations of the mass I just stated are only done within a radius of 129,000 light years. So there is still a lot of mass missing. And already, with the statement I did about the mass of our galaxy and the mass of the Andromeda galaxy, the Milky Way is already nearly twice as heavy as Andromeda. So if we put all the extra mass beyond 129,000 light years, to the already existing mass, then the Milky Way galaxy probably is two and a half times more massive than Andromeda. Now that's, you know, good news for us because 
we will no longer be consumed by Andromeda Galaxy by the Andromeda Galaxy, but it's going to be the other way around. We will have lunch. Ha <laughs> ha yeah, we will eat Andromeda. So the only thing that Andromeda beats us in is the fact its physical size. The size, the physical size of the Andromeda Galaxy is about 220,000 light years in the Milky Way, somewhere between 150,000 and 200,000 light years. But the overall density of the Milky Way is more denser than the Andromeda Galaxy. Also, um, in the Milky Way, star formation is about 10 times as much as in the Andromeda Galaxy. And this makes sense, because if our Milky Way galaxy is much more dense, then it's, it's logical to assume that more stars are formed. So, and also if you, you know, if you take a look at an infrared picture of the Andromeda Galaxy, uh, especially this one, I, I just noticed something, you know, something odd about the Andromeda Galaxy. Uh, it's officially catalogued as a spiral galaxy, but it's a very open galaxy. Yeah, it's a very open galaxy uh, with uh, a lot of empty space between the spirals. And if I did not know anything better, I would say it appears more like a ring galaxy at some points. So, yes, the Andromeda galaxy might appear better, uh, appear bigger, sorry, appear bigger. It is also uh, uh, brighter, but it's more open. Okay, now. Now I'm going a complete opposite direction, uh, and I hope uh, some of you guys will understand this. For whoever watches the science fiction series self Star Trek, Star Trek, there are also two kinds of ships in Star Trek The Next Generation. I will show them here. Here you have one side, the Galaxy class starship, and here on the right side, we have the, the Derricks, Rommel and Warbird. So, now you might think, what has this to do with the galaxies? Well, uh, in Andromeda, well, physical size does not say anything. Because if we, and now I, I know this is just science fiction, but it's just to prove a point that when we look at the technical specifications of both of these ships, then we see that Although the Galaxy Starship is twice as small as the, the Derricks class Starship, it is heavier than the, uh, the Derricks class Starship. Why? Well, look at the, the Derricks. Look at it. It's open space. It has so much, you know, gaps and, and, and open spaces that it, it's just for appearance that it just looks uh, that more bigger but it's mostly open space, while the Galaxy-class starship is much more compact and everything is more squeezed together. So, well, the same applies for the Milky Way galaxy and the Andromeda the galaxy as well. Andromeda is much more open, um, there are less stars uh, per cubic light year than in the Milky Way galaxy, and by all these new calculations they have done, it would now appear that our galaxy is at least two and a half times more massive than Andromeda. Well, that means also another thing. Because of this uh, increased mass of uh, our galaxy, the collision they have predicted to be happening in about four to five billion years will probably happen a bit sooner than, um, than expected. Because since the mass increase means that the galaxies will be pulled toward to each other even faster. Okay, so what will we see uh, by that time? Well, although the Andromeda galaxy is uh, not as heavy as the Milky Way galaxy, both galaxies will merge together and both central black holes will also merge together into one single black hole and we will get a giant elliptical galaxy prob probably yeah and that's it uh, my friends uh, that's uh, you know on astron astronomy side of the story and um, 
<laughs> but uh, but still, you know, you know, reading this stuff was really like fascinating, and I always was thinking about oh, our poor little galaxy, the Milky Way is always second, always, you know. We are not the biggest, we are not the biggest, the Milky the Andromeda was always on top of us, but thanks to these new calculations, we can say, yeah, we are now the winner. The Milky Way is the predominant galaxy in the local cluster. So, Milky Way, yes, number one, Andromeda, number two, Triangulum Galaxy, number three. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, see you guys, bye bye.